One year ago, Iranian President Hassan Rouhani promised the long-awaited benefits of the Iran nuclear deal. More than 23 million Iranians responded by re-electing the moderate for a second term. Today, the nuclear deal is in jeopardy, and many of his supporters insist Rouhani is not to blame. I'm trying to make people understand if there was a radical in power, this would have happened too. The problem was not us, it was Rouhani. I'm also worried that in three years the Conservatives could come back to power. Rouhani's Conservative opponents are applying pressure. In January, his government faced angry street protests. Now he faces his stiffest test, how to reassure a restless population and hold back hardline opponents at home. One powerful conservative body is asking Rouhani for a public apology for the nuclear deal. Conservative news agencies say Rouhani's strategy was short-sighted. His policy could have been much better than that. The country's internal affairs should not be tied to the nuclear deal. It was not necessary to link the whole economy to this agreement. Reformist analyst Saeed Leila says if Iran can get guarantees of oil exports and benefits from Europe, Iran can salvage what's left of the agreement and Rouhani can keep enough support to rescue his presidency. They will support regime. Be sure. I'm sure about that. They understand the situation. Iran did its best in atomic deal. And you will see that people will support their regime and their, uh, their, their government. Analysts say growing outside pressure from Washington and Israel in the past few weeks could buy Mr. Rouhani some time. The history of the Islamic Republic shows that when there is outside pressure, Iran's hardliners and moderates usually set their differences aside. But analysts say the future of Mr. Rouhani's presidency depends on at least creating the impression that he's delivered on some of the promises of the nuclear deal.